Yeah, so it was the King outfits. They really were um, something like you saw Gucci Man, Gucci Man mixtapes. Look, look up Wilt Chamberlain mixtapes, Wilt Chamberlain, Chamberlain mixtapes, and something like that outfit is like says Wilt Chamberlain on it, like that, a bunch of colors. I'm like the Empire. Look up Gucci Man, the Empire mixtapes. Something like that. It says the Empire on his uh, King outfit. Something like that happens and he does win because of it. Sometimes he made creator creator songs. Has like some colorful creator thing. But it looks like they were would have won pretty well. Something something you would have pictured like beige haired kings, um, kind of like the Jimbo Jones thing. Uh, but it was, uh beige haired kings. Looks like that leaderboard I always picture. Like that's the color they would use. Um, for their king bodies. Sometimes. Because uh, overall he was like real king. And so it would have been. Uh, yeah the, re the real king was the hardest to beat in death. Death matches everything. So he kind of could take over like if it's a one on one thing. like a, And that's kind of what happened. Then she said I was still a 10k and an 8k from uh, from the second 900 trillion, and he said I ended up inventing the most songs and was. He said uh, the highest. So from what I hear, the one of them, <clears throat> number one for that beige uh, leaderboard, or the main leaderboard. It kind of kind of was the main leaderboard. Was kind of it, but since it was like overall, he, uh, over overall legacy kind of would have led to his wins. The most, uh, at least if he gets to wear what he wants. You could uh, wear some of that custom. If you didn't make the songs, it doesn't help him win. And so uh, number one is what I was hearing about. It looks like he